Hey, it's Justin from CanadaWhips.ca. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the hardest whip cracking tricks in the world, the Hassett's Four Corners. Before I get started, I just wanna quickly mention my Patreon. If you benefit at all from this channel, I would really appreciate your support because I do everything on here completely for free. If you join my Patreon, you're gonna see extra tutorials, tips and tricks for moves you might be struggling with, as well as a lot of behind the scenes content and updates on the stuff that I'm working on. So if that's of interest to you, feel free to drop whatever you think this channel is worth per month on my Patreon. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I also wanna give a quick shout out to my three current Patreon members, Tim, Glenn, and one of my favorite whip crackers of all time, Adam Winrich. So this video is gonna be about all of the different timing variations you can do with the four corners in two hands. Being able to do the four corners in one hand is tough, and being able to do it in both hands at the same time, that's even more impressive. But only the best whip crackers in the world can do all of the different timing variations of the four corners in both hands. I also wanna stress that this video won't be a tutorial for these tricks. Um, and the reason is I can't do most of them. And the ones that I can do, I can only do sort of well. <laughs> so I don't really feel comfortable teaching these things, but my goal is to teach you the differences between them and how to look at them and understand which one is which. Let's start with a brief description of what the Four Corners is. Hassett's Four Corners is a four crack pattern that consists of a flick aimed forwards, a looping crack aimed backwards, a flick aimed forwards on the other side, and a looping crack aimed backwards on the other side. When you do the four corners, it can kind of feel like each crack is aimed at a different corner of an imaginary square around your head. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna give each of these cracks a name. Let's call them outside front, outside back, inside front, and inside back. The outside cracks are happening with the handle pointing out or away from your body, and the inside cracks are happening with the handle pointing in towards your body. Obviously, the front cracks are aimed forwards and the back cracks are aimed backwards. It's also important to note that these cracks are gonna be mirrored in each hand. So an outside front in the right hand is gonna have the handle pointing right, whereas an outside front in the left hand is gonna have the handle pointing to the left. Let's give every crack a number. We'll start with the outside front crack and number the cracks from one to four. Because the four corners is a repeating pattern, it doesn't really matter which crack you assign number one to as long as the cracks all stay in the same order. No matter where you start, even numbers will always travel in one direction and odd numbers will always travel in the other. In this example, even numbers will always correspond to the backwards cracks. Let's take a look at our first timing variation, the same time four corners, which is also usually just called the four corners. In this variation, each hand does the same crack at the same time. You can see that the whips mirror each other straight down the middle. The second timing variation is called staggered four corners. In this variation, one whip cracks slightly ahead of the other and it makes a staggered beat. Each hand is still doing the same crack, but one hand goes first. The third timing variation is called each way four corners, and this one was invented by the great Ben Hughes. In each way four corners, both whips crack at the same time, but they're aimed in different directions. One whip cracks forwards, while the other whip cracks backwards. In other words, one whip is always one crack ahead of the other. The fourth timing variation is called chaser, and this was invented by Daniel Wicks, the most decorated Australian whip cracking champion to date. In chaser, one whip looks like it chases behind the other, creating a staggered beat. The whips are both aiming in the same direction when they crack, but the cracks that the whips are doing are different. While one whip does an outside crack, the other one does an inside crack. The last timing variation is called windmill four corners. In this variation, both whips crack at the same time and aim in the same direction, but each hand is doing a different crack. While one whip does an outside front crack, the other one does an inside front crack. This kind of makes it look like the whips are sitting on top of each other. Now that you know what each pattern looks like, let's talk a little bit more about the timing differences between them. I'm gonna show you those videos again, and I've made little diagrams at the bottom to show you which cracks are happening when and how they relate to each other. In same time, the same cracks happen at the same time. That's an easy one. If you look at the diagram, you can see that the ones are on top of the ones, the twos are on top of the twos, and so on. This makes it look like the pattern is mirrored straight down the middle. In staggered, one whip cracks slightly after the other. To switch from same time to staggered time, we just need to speed up one whip about half a beat. 
In each way, one whip cracks forward and the other whip cracks backward. If you remember, our even cracks always mean one direction and our odd cracks always mean the other direction. And in our diagram, you can see that an even number is always paired up with an odd number. Also notice that you can get from staggered to each way by doing the exact same thing we did before and moving one whip forward half a beat. In chaser, both whips crack in the same direction, but one whip chases behind the other. You can see this in the diagram because the pattern is going even, even, odd, odd. The even numbers and odd numbers are different because the whips are technically doing different cracks. One is doing an inside front crack and the other one's doing an outside front crack, but they are still both aiming in the same direction. Again, similar to the others, we can get to chaser by speeding up one whip from each way about half a beat. Finally, we have windmill, where the whip cracks happen at the same time and in the same direction, but one whip is on the outside and the other whip is on the inside. Notice how the odds and evens are paired up just like that. And yes, you guessed it, you can get to windmill from chaser by moving the same hand half a beat forward again. Denny Shaw did a great demonstration of this in his 2022 WhipCon double whip video. Let's take a look. If you watch, he's gonna go together, staggered, each way, chaser, and windmill. Now, I know what you're thinking. What happens if we take the windmill pattern and move one whip forward half a beat again? Great question, let's take a look. If we move the same hand forward in windmill a half beat, we get this diagram here. When you compare it to the others, it does look like a different variation, right? Not quite. Check out this four. In our new variation, it's happening between a one and a two. Do you see another four that does the same thing? Yep, right here. In fact, all of the numbers in Chaser map into this pattern. The difference is now the left hand is doing what the right would be doing. Therefore, this mystery pattern is just Chaser where the right hand is cracking before the left. Let's move forward another half beat, over and over until we get back to the same time timing variation. Notice how each new variation is the same as the one beside it, except the numbers on top are flipped with the numbers on the bottom. This is because once we've made it past the windmill timing, the right hand and the left hand switch positions with each other, meaning on one side, the left hand is cracking first, and on the other, the right hand will be cracking first. So, if you want to go through all of the different variations, all you need to do is take one hand and move it forward in the pattern half a beat at a time. If you do this, you'll do a cycle. Same, staggered, each way, chaser, windmill, chaser with the other hand leading, each way again, staggered with the other hand leading, and then back to same time. Now I should mention, there's lots of other tricks that include the four corners. These are just the five different timing variations where each hand is doing the exact same thing, just at different times. If you wanna be a high level competitive whip cracker, these are the tricks you really wanna to work towards to make a name for yourself in our community because they are the hardest tricks that you can do. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot and I know it was a lot of information to take in. Again, if you wanna support me on Patreon, even a dollar a month is a huge help because I do this all for free out of my own time and I would really appreciate your support. And also, there's tons of cool stuff on there, so take a look. Anyway, check out the website, check out the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one.